It's called Jonna Kola. What does this mean? It means fountain art. Jonna is fountain and Kola is art. Fountain as I know it, yes. water spraying up. Is it is a continuous, spontaneous flow without any obstruction. It comes from within. Anything that comes from the very depth of our heart will have no obstruction on the way. But if it comes from the mind or from the vital, there will always be some obstructions for the mind. The capacity of the mind is very, very limited, whereas the capacity of the heart is unlimited precisely because it is in tune with the soul. This and comes as a powerful message to me because I've been trained all my life to use my mind so much, you know. I can't paint anything. If I set about painting something, first thing I'd have to do is to imagine things up here, you know, but you don't do this. If you go beyond the mind, we create um, infinitely more beautiful things. We're going to see that, the process of your painting, right now on our screen, how, how you actually do this. The creativity, I would call it, of your work, or the fountain-like aspect of your work. I have no preconceived idea as to what I am going to paint. I just allow myself to be carried away by a higher force. I devotedly follow a streak of light. It is quite visible to me. This streak of light comes from my inmost soul or my inner self. I think I'm beginning to understand a little bit now, and I wish I had a great deal more time to understand more. But I must say, from the back of this little booklet again, and I don't think I gave this figure before, that uh, the message here is that you painted 16,031 paintings in one day. They could not have all been this large, of course. No. Some small ones. Small and some different sizes. Why would one wish to paint so many? It is not a desire. It is an inner inspiration that carried it through. It is not my preconceived idea or it is not my earthbound desire, but I got the inspiration from within to do it. And so I always listen to the dictates of my inner being. 
Guru, suppose, I, I hope this is not too direct a question to you, suppose I said to you, paint me a picture, and here comes my mind again into the act, you see, paint me a picture of a barn and a roadside. What would I, you, you say I would? Would you say I would? You say I wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends on my mood. Usually I, I am not asked by anyone to do any particular painting. You know, what comes from within, from inner inspiration, I do. Right. And, and my paintings are mostly abstract. You let the camera take care of that road and that barn, eh? <laughs> I've dealt with words all my life. I love the music. I like, to, I, I, I understand it a little more than I do the paintings, but above everything, I like your writing. I'm going to ask you right now to read me a very short poem of the thousand that you have written in your life. In secrecy supreme, I see you. You live in my eyes, in my sleep, in my dreams, in my sweet wakefulness in the stupendous mirth of life, in the abysmal lap of death, you I behold. Your love play is my world.